Today I'm going to walk you through the tools I use every single day to stay productive, focused and organized. I have been a leader for more than 8 years and I tend to try new frameworks and applications regularly, but the following list has stayed and change for the last two years. Now, before we jump in, I want to make it clear that none of these tools are sponsors of this video. These are just the tools I found incredibly useful in my daily life and work. Let's get started. Before I talk about the hardware I use, let's start with the software. First up, let's talk about Notion. This is, without exaggeration, my digital command center. If you are not familiar with Notion, it's an all-in-one workspace that is incredible, versatile and customizable. In Notion, I keep track of everything, and I mean everything. My to-do list, they are in Notion. Ongoing projects, yep, those too. I even use it to track my meetings and keep records of the people I lead. But perhaps the most valuable aspect of Notion for me is that it serves as my knowledge base for everything I read. The beauty of Notion is the flexibility. You can create databases, Kanban boards, wikis, and so much more. I've set mine up so that I can see my daily tasks at a glance, but also deep dive into project details when I need to. One of my favorite features is the ability to link different pages and databases. This means I can connect my meeting notes directly to project pages or link team members' profiles to the projects they are working on. It creates this interconnected web of information that is incredibly powerful. If you are feeling overwhelmed by the number of apps and tools you use to stay organized, I highly recommend giving Notion a try. It may just replace several of your current tools. I have a video dedicated to explaining how I use Notion to implement my second brain, here. Next up is Arc Browser. Now, I know what you are thinking, another browser? But hear me out. I recently started using Arc and it has changed the way I interact with the web. What sets Arc apart is its interface. Instead of just showing icons for your open tabs, Arc gives you a list view of all your open tabs. This may seem like a small change, but it's made a huge difference in how I manage my browsing. Another feature I love about Arc is how it handles profiles. You can have multiple profiles open in a single window, which is great if you're like me and need to switch between work emails frequently. Arc also has some neat features like spaces, which let you group related tabs together and boost which are essentially mini extensions you can create yourself. It is still a relatively new browser, but I'm really enjoying the fresh approach it brings to web browsing. Moving on to Reclaim AI. This tool has been a game changer for me when it comes to managing my time. As someone who juggles multiple calendars, having a tool that can combine them all into one view is invaluable. But Reclaim doesn't just show me my calendar. It actively helps me find time to work on my to-do list. It can automatically schedule tasks from my to-do list into free spots in my calendar. And if a meeting gets scheduled during that time, Reclaim will automatically reschedule the task. I have a video dedicated to explaining Reclaim AI. Rescue Time is my silent productivity partner, running in the background and tracking how I spend my time on my devices. Rescue Time monitors which applications and websites I use, categorize them and provide detailed reports on my digital activity. Based on how I categorize different activities, Rescue Time gives me a daily productivity score. This helps me to understand at a glance how productive my day has been. The detailed reports and trends that Rescue Time provides have been invaluable in identifying areas where I can improve my efficiency. By using Rescue Time, I gain a much clearer picture of where my time goes each day, allowing me to make data-driven decisions about how to optimize my workflow. Next, let's talk about password management. I use Bitwarden, and I want to be clear about this. Having a password manager is a non-negotiable in today's digital world. You should absolutely be using one. Which one you choose is up to you but I found Bitwarden to be secure, user-friendly, and it works across all my devices. Bitwarden allows me to generate strong, 
You need passwords for every site I use. It syncs across all my devices, so whether I am on my phone, tablet or computer, I always have access to my passwords. It also has a secure notes feature which I use for storing sensitive information. Remember, using the same password across multiple sites is like using the same key for your house, your cars and your office. If someone gets that key, they have access to everything. A password manager like Bitwarden eliminates these risks. Now, let's talk about focus. In our hyper-connected world, maintaining focus can be a real challenge. That's where Flora comes in. It's a simple but effective app that helps me stay focused during work sessions. The concept is straightforward. You set a timer for how long you want to focus, and during that time, a virtual tree grows on your screen. If you leave the app before the timer is up, the tree dies. It might sound a bit silly, but it's surprisingly effective. There is something about watching that little tree grows that motivates me to stay focused. Flora also has some great features for tracking your focus time and setting goals. You can even plant real trees through the app if you are feeling particularly motivated. Last but not least in the software category, let's talk about music. When I am in a focus session, I love listening to Lo-Fi Girl on YouTube. If you are not familiar, it's a channel that streams lo-fi hip-hop music 24-7. The music is instrumental with a calm, relaxing vibe that is perfect for working. It provides just enough background noise to help me focus without being distracting. Plus, the animated girl studying in the video is oddly motivating. I find that having this consistent audio environment really helps me get into a flow state. And because it's always streaming, I don't have to worry about choosing what to listen, I can just hit play and get to work. Now, let's shift gears and talk about some of the physical tools I use every day. First up is my standing desk. We all know that sitting all day isn't good for our health, and a standing desk is a great way to combat this. I consider it a must-have for anyone who spent a lot of time at a desk. My standing desk allows me to switch between sitting and standing throughout the day. I typically try to stand for at least a few hours each day. Not only does this help with my posture and reduce back pain, but I find that it also helps me stay more alert and focused. If you are considering a standing desk, I recommend one with preset height settings. This makes it easy to quickly switch between your preferred sitting and standing heights. To complement my standing desk, I use a balancing board. I picked this up on Amazon for about $15 and it's been a great addition to my workspace. When I'm standing at my desk, I often stand on this board. The balancing board keeps me active even when I am standing still. It engages my core and leg muscles, improving balance and posture. Plus, the subtle moments help me stay energized throughout the day. It took a little getting used to at first, but now I find it's a great way to keep my body engaged while I'm working. Just be careful not to get too enthusiastic with your balancing while on important video calls. Finally, let's talk about my headphones of choice, the Bose QuietComfort 35. These are fantastic noise cancelling headphones that help me focus in noise environments. Now, I use this a bit different than most people. The noise cancelling on this is so good that I actually only wear them on one ear most of the time. I know this probably looks a bit odd, but there is a method to my madness. Wearing the headphones on just one ear allows me to stay aware of my surroundings. This is important to me because I like to be available if my family needs me. It also prevents me from accidentally speaking too loudly and waking my family, which can happen when you can't hear your own voice due to the noise cancelling. The sound quality on these headphones is excellent, whether I am listening to lo-fi girl playlists or on a video call, and the comfort is top-notch. I can wear this for hours without any discomfort. All these gadgets allow me to work comfortably and focus, but I'm sure you use other tools, which I would love to try. Leave me a comment with your recommendations. Thanks for watching and see you next week.